the Technology for the Early Childhood Education program was designed to introduce ICTs into early childhood education institutions across Antigua and Barbuda. Many of these institutions were not equipped with computers or access to the information superhighway, and this initiative serves to address those deficiencies. Asha Christian Phillip, the Special Projects Coordinator within the Connect Antigua and Barbuda Initiative, is the coordinator of the Technology for the Early Childhood Education program that caters to over 100 daycares, preschools and creches in Antigua and Barbuda. There's been difficulty in terms of collecting data because everything's been done by paper and this medium now is a way to speed up the process as well as have it in, an, 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 in, a, in a manner which is easily collated and which is easily analyzed. This program as a whole is designed to introduce technology on a whole scale level to early childhood institutions. As mentioned previously, we're starting with the software that we created, the Abitrack 1 software, which is for records management. And the next level is to actually introduce ICTs into the everyday learning for the children. So while the teachers have the ability to record the data for the students as well as the school and the teachers, the children now will, have the, will be in a position to actually use the tools. Before the introduction of this component, we had probably in excess of 50 plus out of 100 preschool teachers um, who were not computer literate. And this component actually introduced these persons to ICTs um, through the introductory um, computer training that they receive, in addition to the training of the Abitrack software. So not only have we introduced the Abitrack software to these persons, but we've actually introduced ICTs and IT to these persons so they can understand the benefits Ms. Sandra Tucker, Database Administrator, who forms part of the software development team in the Department of ICT Services, was the designer and builder of the software and database for the ABI Track 1 software that is now used by these early childhood education institutions. ABITRAC software, which is the technology we've created here for early childhood education, is used to manage the daycares and preschools. It stores data about the school, the teacher, the staff, the parents and the students and allows the teachers to produce reports, awards, certificates and even personalized mail and emails for the parents. It generally assists with the day-to-day -day work and also produces statistics so that they will have information readily available for the Ministry of Education or for anybody who would require that data. The packaging of the Abitrack 1 software includes the installation file along with two manuals, the user's guide as well as an introduction to computers manual which has mainly been used to teach the teachers. This software can be installed just at a click of a button and it will open the preparation for installation window. When it's installed, the user will have access to this, these manuals as well on their computers, the Abitrack User's Guide, which is a comprehensive manual which gives guidance to the teachers even after training is completed in the use of the software. And this is the main menu where the teachers will operate the software from. You see here we have the school data, staff data. And let me just quickly open this window. This is where they can add the names and everything to do with the school, the classes, they assess, they set up their own assessment system and everything. Then we have the area for the staff data, for the registration, which is where they would add mother's names. So it's only a one-time entry required for one parent's information. They can bring as many children after that and that one set of information would be there. So they can add those children that, that parent wants and they can bring as many children after that. This is the child's entry data. This is where data was already entered and you can even have on your computer, you can store photographs of a child and have it so that you can see that child's in, um, picture. 
then we can prepare reports we have the report preparation area and so they can prepare a student report and you can select the year and it you can do it in uh, in batches this is the fifth version you can see a child's report let me look at that quickly here and we can select based on any of these options the year the period whatever so what i'll do i'll just don't select anything and we look at the general what a report would look like after that teacher would have entered the data you can produce a certificate rather easily after when the child graduates this was what one sample of our certificate looks like you can do this one here so we have both certificates on the same sheet of paper these are samples of the awards this is the blue ribbon award and they can also edit the award to say if they want to put first, second, or third. So this software really puts technology in the hands of the teacher. This program would not be possible without the forging of partnerships with sister government entities. The Ministry of Information has therefore partnered with the Ministry of Education, Sports, Youth, and Gender Affairs through the Early Childhood Development Unit to ensure that we reach our target. Education Officer with Responsibility for Early Childhood Education, Mrs. Erla Esdale, has been instrumental in ensuring that compliant and registered institutions will not be left behind. This initiative is a good one because it has enabled the early childhood teachers, supervisors to be able to go online to access information so that it would benefit not only themselves, where they can learn, they can do online courses, but it could also benefit them getting up-to-date information on current developments in early childhood development, because there's a lot of information out there. And so it would help them to be better able to deal with their children in a way that would benefit the children in the end. I also think that the initiative has helped some persons who were not computer literate in terms of getting statistics, the numbers, the age range, the, the by, by male or female, this tool would also help us in getting this, this, this information in a timely manner. The children, the use of the computer would give them that edge, that advantage of getting into primary school and knowing what the computer is all about, knowing the parts of the computer because the, the supervisors, the teachers would have, you know, encouraged them. They would have an idea of what it feels like, not only what it feels like, but what can be done. There are children's programs that can be accessed on the computer, especially in, in, in light of the fact that some schools already have internet access in their schools and so this would help the children to be you know open to to programs like their North American counterparts like their counterparts in Europe and so it's no child left behind no matter what the social status is that child would be able to have access to a computer and know what the computer is all about even though the parent might not be able to afford that computer at home so that initiative with putting computers in the schools, in the preschools, from as early as possible. I think that that is a great idea, and I would like to commend the Ministry of um, Information for putting that initiative in place. Minister of State with Responsibility for Information, Broadcasting, Telecommunications, Science and Technology, Honorable Dr. Edmund Mansour. The brainchild behind the Connect Antigua and Barbuda initiative is passionate about education and the power of ICTs in improving the teaching and learning environment across the country. The Technology for Early Childhood Education initiative is a true quad play in the delivery of ICTs. The first component is the delivery of the hardware, which is the notebook, to the administrators of daycare centers, followed by the second component, which is training in the use of the hardware. And the third component is true broadband connectivity at the daycare centers. True broadband connectivity 
is an enormously empowering phenomenon in ensuring that early childhood centers in Antigua are connected to the super information highway. And the fourth component, which is the most revolutionary component, is the production of specialized software done at the Ministry of Information's headquarters, produced by Sandra Tucker, scripted by the technicians there, and installed into every one of those laptops so that the administrators are using highly specialized software in ensuring that the operational and management practices in the daycare centers are in keeping with international standards. So quad play in ICTs, a true revolution and another component of the Connect Antigua and Barbuda initiative. Phase one of the technology for the early childhood education program was designed to meet the administrative needs of the preschools, daycares, and creches, in addition to the needs of the Ministry of Education's Early Childhood Development Unit. That phase of the program re-engineered the data and information collection process between these entities and has made the administrative and analytical process more efficient and effective. The next phase of the program that we have entered includes the strengthening of the public-private people's partnership so as to provide high-speed internet access to all these early childhood institutions and to introduce the children who attend these schools to ICTs. It is the firm belief of the Connect Antigua and Barbuda initiative that introducing children to technology at such an early age can only positively impact their academic futures. ICTs are tools that will support development, creativity, and innovation and when used effectively as tools for learning, ICTs will increase student achievement and will encourage critical thinking. The Connect Antigua and Barbuda Initiative's vision for this program is that all early childhood education institutions that utilize ICTs as learning tools will produce students of notably improved academic and social development. The technology for the Early Childhood Development Program serves to realize this vision.